Coming out of our virtually Bible in the pub discussion around Acts chapter 8, I just wanted to reflect a little bit on uh, the role of diversity within the life of the church. Two particular passages, if you want to be thinking about diversity within the life of the church, and which I'm going to talk briefly about tonight, are Acts chapter 2 and Acts chapter 8. In Acts chapter 2, we're told at Pentecost that the early uh, converts to Christianity came from all different places and all different cultures. We are told that they were Parthians, Medes and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, and all of them together encountered the Holy Spirit at that wonderful moment of Pentecost. One of the markers of the early church is its diversity. From the very beginning it is made up of people from all sorts of different cultural, ethnic and racial backgrounds. People who had different approaches and understandings of how to conduct life and how to relate to each other and indeed how to relate to God. And so that diversity is something that we see right at the beginning of what it means to be the church and the people of God together. And then a couple of weeks ago at Virtually Bible in the Pub we looked at Acts chapter 8. That wonderful story, or the two stories, of Simon going to Samaria and Peter following and the Samaritans being baptised into the name of Christ and receiving the Holy Spirit. And then also Philip on the road to um, on the road to Gaza meeting the Ethiopian and that also I think highlights the diversity of course in the Ethiopian that Philip meets we're supposed to hear the story of the spread of the good news of Christ into northern Africa and again that diversity that comes out of race and culture and ethnicity and background but in the conversions of the Samaritans we are also reminded that one of the diversities we see in the church is around styles of worship and indeed theology uh, and different elements of belief. The Samaritans and the Jews had different ways of worshipping God and we shouldn't assume and we shouldn't read into the text that just because they became Christians they started to worship in the same way as the Jews in Jerusalem did. The truth is uh, they probably didn't. The Jewish Christians in Jerusalem would still, we think, have met in the temple. That wouldn't have been the case for the Samaritan Christians. There were different styles of worshipping God that right at the beginning of the church were inherent within it. But of course the Jews and the Samaritans had very different theological understandings of God's presence as well. And although as they would have engaged with faith in Christ and as the Holy Spirit filled them and they would have listened to the stories of the apostles, no doubt those differences of theological opinion would have continued as well. And so the church is not just a place where we should expect diversity of race, ethnicity, culture, educational background, income brackets, but also a place where we should expect and we should rejoice in different opinions about styles of worship and indeed different opinions about theology and theological approaches to God. I love when I I'm in church before this lockdown. I love looking around at everyone there and I give thanks for the variety of people that we have at St Paul's and I give thanks for the variety of churches there are within the worldwide church of God. The kingdom of God, the church, should be a place where diversity is not an added extra but is a fundamental foundation of what it means to reflect the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. And so we should be rejoicing and giving thanks in those differences we see in our sisters and brothers uh, of, in the Christian faith around us. We should be celebrating when we encounter people who have different approaches and different styles of worship to us. And we should give thanks as we discuss different theological views and attitudes, as we understand different cultural backgrounds and dynamics. All those things help each of us and help us as a church to better reflect what it means to be the kingdom of God. That diversity that was there in the church right at the beginning in Acts chapter 2 and Acts chapter 8 is a foundation stone of what it means to be the worldwide church of God today and something that without doubt we should give thanks for.